stayed in my hotel room pretty much yesterday because that's just what traveling does to you apparently. But I'm back in the hotel. I still sound like a man. Hold on. Got on the plane. I'd say within like two hours or maybe three hours of the flight and it was a 10 hour flight so like I did not feel very good whatsoever. Um, I just realized that like something was up. So I got to the hotel, it was about 10 a.m. And thankfully I'm not dealing with any sort of like jet lag because there is no time difference from here to Toronto. It's just south so it's winter. So I think that it was like one of a couple things. Could have just been that there were like a lot of people that were sick on the plane and like the germs that were around just like didn't help the situation. Like when you're in a plane, you're just like more susceptible to becoming uh, sick. Thirdly, I think that it's because it's winter here and like I know that I always get sick in Toronto when it's um, like when the seasons change, especially when they when they change like super drastically. And it was like cold here yesterday, like it was super cold. So anyway, so I rested, um, I got up. I mean, like yesterday I took like a hot bath. I was trying to sweat it all out. Um, but tomorrow we have a we have a 6:45 um, call time for pretty much like a four four hour flight situation. But I'll be gone for the majority of the day, which is you know not the greatest. But at least I'll be out of this hotel room and whatever else. And then I'm going to be back here for another two days. So it's pretty cool. Hopefully for the last little bit of the of the layover, um, I can go and explore. Um, you know, whenever it comes to stuff like this, like, I know that I'll be back at some point. But it's, you know, nothing beats the first time you go somewhere new. So anyway, I will update you guys in a little bit. I've decided that I'm going to start vlogging on these trips. I'm just gonna like where it's safe and where I feel comfortable doing so like I'm definitely gonna vlog if I don't vlog then I'll definitely like post stuff on my um, IGTV which I found like is a lot easier because it's easier to just kind of like edit things on my phone and then put them on Instagram but regardless I'll start being active uh, with a whole bunch more like travel related things and like flight attendant e things so oh Lemon ginger tea, please cure me. You're seeing this vlog as it's happening live. Okay, so this is an alfajor from Argentina. That Gabby, my boyfriend. Oh, oh, you fell. Actually, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be some like squatting, some like next level squatting. Say hi. Yo. Yo, YouTube, what's up? Oh my god, okay, so I'm trying these alfajors. I don't really know what it's supposed to taste like. Like, what's it supposed to taste like? Just, okay, so don't, don't eat, my advice is don't eat the white one first because I want to like the white one with you. I'm having like, the walnut right? one. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. The walnut one is nice. They're all nice. But I'm the having the walnut. Like... I'm also very sick, so... I don't recommend you eating sugar when you're sick, but we're in Argentina, so we're breaking the rules. Okay, here. Provecho. Okay. Yo. <laughs> Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Look! Look at how you're. Look at how you're connected right now. Yo, this is so good. Just wait till you have the white one to tell you. Wow. Where has it been your whole life, you know? Right? Several days later. So, this is... <coughs> <coughs> the first time that I'm having chilies and it is brought to you by Uber Eats, Santiago style. So... Um, this is just kind of like a trio of some chicken, some shrimp, and some beef. Everything that could possibly be thrown my way was just like tossed at me. Um, so I finally called my like crew scheduling um, and I told them that I'm like sick and dying. So they essentially contacted um, a doctor. I was looked at. I have been essentially grounded. Um, but my crew is essentially leaving right now, actually. Um, 
and I feel a lot better than I did yesterday like I wasn't able to like I had like no sort of appetite whatsoever for like the past like three days four days like all I'd have is like a loaf of like a teeny tiny little loaf of bread <coughs> so can't really talk without having like a coughing fit every three seconds hold on um, this is the first time that I that I really feel like a million bucks which is nice um so i was just like i woke up and i was just so hungry i'm like i haven't felt hunger in so long actually i'm curious to see if the bus is with my crew is it down there yep there they go finally get a meal down uh, because i really i have not eaten anything like anything these past couple days i've just been drinking lots of water drinking lots of tea But the antibiotic that they prescribed me just did the spot. So I'm just gonna make these sort of like little fajita situations. Look at how many tortillas they gave me. I mean, like, look at how much meat they gave me. So, like, hello. I really wanted to like explore this place. Um, and with Diane, the girl that you saw in this vlog as well, like, they bought like tickets to um, to one of those like hop on, hop off city tour things. Um, <clears throat> and she obviously went and I wasn't able to go yesterday because I was just like sick and dying so and then they gave me some cheese and some guac even though I have an avocado that I need to eat but yeah so otherwise I'm alive but it has definitely been like <coughs> the longest time of my life being away from home <clears throat> so I guess the moral of the story is I got sick on the plane here. We operated from Santiago to Buenos Aires and then Buenos Aires back to Santiago. And then, um, why can't I breathe? So yeah, on that last plane ride, um, like I just couldn't breathe. So I called them. I'm essentially grounded here because yesterday I had a lot of pressure in my ears. And if there's like one thing that you should never ever 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 do is fly with any sort with any sort of like sinus infection ear infection like you i guarantee you and if you do it and you like luck out once it's not worth it because you will blow your eardrum and you will lose your hearing and that is just something that is just not worth it like like it's so much more worth it for you to stay grounded cure yourself of your sickness and then go and enjoy your vacation wherever you are so uh today the pressure is a little bit better um just from like blowing my nose like i still feel a little bit of pressure it's not as bad uh, but hopefully hopefully i can get uh cleared to uh fly out tomorrow uh, or hopefully then the next day so <sighs> honestly at this way, I just want to go home. in here aren't she I really don't know what's in this it's supposed to be bolognese but like isn't bol isn't bolognese supposed to have like meat in it anyway looks appealing I suppose get some of this orange juice I know I'm like living the most glamorous lifestyle right now guys but like don't come at me, okay? Don't come at me. Okay, hold on, my battery's dying. I will bear it back. Ah, I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh my god. Good morning. Oh, what cute looks we are having today. So today is going home day, thank goodness. So today, 
Um, it's going home day. <coughs> it's about 10, 15? No, it's, it's past 10, 15 at this point. It's 10.30. It's 10.30. That's my friend Laura's dog, Capo, that I'm obsessed with. She knows this. She knows it. She knows it. Anyway, um, so I need to get my stuff packed. Like, it's all, like, in this corner situation. Like, this bag over here, um, I need to have room for my laptop and then probably, like, my toiletries because this is where my toiletries came in. Um... So honestly, like, I don't, I have no idea how this is going to work. I have no idea how this is going to work because, like, it was kind of a clusterfuck trying to pack everything. And now that I have, like, more things coming back and I need to bring avocados. I need to bring avocados. Like, that's a, that's a non-negotiable. Essentially, like, deadheading. So I'm going through uh, with my uniform, but then I'm going to change. So I'm, like, I have this, um, and I'll mention it in a video, but this is essentially a bag that, like, folds out out of itself um, and it's kind of like a full size like Herschel bag um, but I take it with me everywhere it's always in my suitcase so 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 yeah so that's just what's gonna have my uniform in it because I'm obviously not gonna be on a plane with my uniform if I'm not working so I just washed my hair and then I put it in like a half up half down while I ran to the grocery store and I kind of just like I ran I went <clears throat> one time and then I realized that I had only brought this like $1,000 Chilean peso bill I brought this and like one of these bags cost like that much so I was like ah shit so I ended up running back needing to buy more like this is like the one thing that I think I'm gonna bring back from like every country I can they're super green so hopefully by the time I get home they'll be good to go no more physical Tetris that I can play with the things that I have. <coughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm gonna straighten my hair with this like mini straightener. Okay, well that was horrific. My can't. Um, I ran out of battery. No, I ran out of space before I could finish showing this whole thing. So I put my shoes in here, both in plastic bags. I'm essentially just gonna like. I'm gonna try doing that. And, uh, yeah. And then what I have to do is, while I was, like, searching through all of this, looking for another memory pack, um, I have to reorganize this so that my other bag can go in here so that I can just open it and fold all my stuff in it. So, I'm, I'm, things are looking up. Things are looking up. Okay, be right back. <laughs> 